Hey guys, I'm sure a lot of you want to know who bought out the narwhals because they're so cute and I did an experiment. Obviously, I can't tell anyone about it because it was an experiment. Uh, these used to be around 50 cents. Currently, they're trending at $9, but at one point they were $20. And I wanted to see what would happen if I just purchased a few of them uh, being... So these two I already had, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. So 28 of them have come in. I probably have another 22 in canceled orders and slash delayed packages, all that stuff. So 22, I don't know if it's coming in. This card sucks, but it is on the reserve list. And the reason I did it was because I felt I wanted to actually see if a single point investor could affect the market. And what happened was when I purchased a few, somebody caught on to it. They started reporting on MTG Finance News. It became kind of a joke. More people started buying more. I don't plan on selling them ever. And I probably will send them to subscribers as uh, we are. I'm sad to say we... We are an MTG Finance channel, and this is probably the best example, and that's why I did it. Uh, even if it failed, I would have still autographed these and sent it off to my subscribers, but it did not fail. The second one I did was also from Homelands, and this one I didn't make a video about because it A, didn't go up that much. It went from $2 to like 5 I think it doubled up in price. And the good thing about Homelands is no one played Homelands, so <laughs> all the narwhals are near mint. I only bought near mint narwhals. I did not buy the crappy narwhals because when you're paying 50 cents a narwhal, you can afford to spoil yourself a little bit. Um, these came in from different sets. So I got the, I wasn't able to buy as many of this because the second time around, they picked up on it a lot faster. MTG Finance picked up on it a ton faster, but it's pretty much this card. It's not very good. It's kind of like, a propaganda but you have to keep a creature tapped it's in black but it's also on the reserve list where I came up with the this concept was remember I bought that bulk collection and I saw these two cards and part of that bulk collection was a lot of cards on the reserve list and I felt it would be hilarious if a Norwhale from Homeland suddenly spiked up to uh, like a few dollars I did not know it got up to $20 um, and that was surprising to me but I went ahead and purchased multiple copies of this card. These, I mean, the concept really came from, I was looking at the bulk binders and I realized that the reserve list has a lot of crappy cards. So I said to myself, huh, I'm gonna pick the crappiest set ever, Homelands. Homelands has no value in it whatsoever. And I'm gonna pick the cutest card, Narwhals. So I did it with Narwhals. It kind of worked. Well, it definitely worked. It went from 50 to 40 cents to $20 at the highest and I did it with this card. Uh, this card is obviously not as cute as Norwell so I didn't buy as many of them and I wasn't as interested and it only really doubled in price. But I'm using this as my MTG Finance tokens I guess because who else is going to send you a Norwell? Anyways, um, I did not expect this to happen I expected me to make a video where I said, oh, I have purchased some Norwhales. I purchased some of these, not going to pronounce this name. Nothing happened. Don't worry about buyouts. A single actor cannot affect the marketplace. Well, a single actor can, does not affect the marketplace. However, a single actor egged on and inspiring, I use that term use loosely, other actors can affect the marketplace. So if you need a Norway, I'll sign, I'll sign one over and send it to you or I'll, maybe I'll have a contest for a stack of Norway. Bye guys.